Well, he put a hidden lever in his office for some reason. Yeah, I figured it out. I think I found it. Why don't you, little girl, touch this gun? Yes, this is it. Please tell me you understand where all these symbols are. Yes, some of them. That's weird. The last thing she wrote is he knows about me. Oh, God. That means he was after her. You don't know that. Come on. We should move. Oh, t crap. Wait, what is that? Museum. That's strange. Why would this be in her book? I don't know. Just, just take it and figure it out later. She's here somewhere. I'll check here. I told you back on this. We gotta go. Stay out of sight. Go, go. A Salem History Museum gala flyer. Why would this be in her mother's book? Because that's where we're going next. I at least, I mean, this is the same stealth bullshit, but I'm at least happy it's not. Uh, demons? Are you not gonna check that out? What about that? What about that? Don't stop. That's not supposed to happen. And the other things were? Uh, yeah, dumb walking. This is a literal saunter. I also think we should go right out the front. So the fact that there's still so many hide things here really makes me think we're going to come back and there's going to be demons. Who am I trying to distract here? Like, I'll gladly distract someone. I just don't know... Like... Is it these guys? Do I need to bring them into this room somewhere? Oh, maybe I just have to actually go talk to her. Yeah. I keep forgetting to do that. Like, that. I keep forgetting that's a prompt. You're gonna need to make a break for that room over there. Away from my signal. Hey, LT, hold up. Go, go, go. Come on, come on, come on. The cool sweep in the building. Well, is she related to Udini? Those doors locked from the outside. <laughs> yeah, I'll check after we catch her. Hey, uh, you know, okay, I just wanted to say that uh, Ron, he was uh, he was top notch. The boy's bad with honor. I hate it when people lie to me. I'm not lying. I just, you know, there's no reason to trample on his grave. Well, you wore the badge because you thought it was intimidating, right? You thought it would make up for all the crap he did when he was younger. It would make it right or better, or maybe prove to the guys around here that he wasn't the guy they thought he was. You know what? I heard the rumor, Sarge. I know a lot of the guys thought he lived his life on the wrong side of the prison. No, 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 not, not everyone. It's okay. Like Look, no. I understand. But at least he was honest, huh? He would look you in the eyes and he would tell you exactly what he thought. Right? Here to tell you that sort of bravery, rare thing these days. You didn't have much to be proud of. At least he didn't try to hide who he was. You know, sorry, sir, but uh, it's been hard on everyone. What did I just say about lying to me? So I understand why 
Like, this is a budget game, so you probably don't have the budget for a, a big vocab session there. Wow, what is this but it really would have helped that conversation. Everything we know about the case so far. Well, I got what I need, so. See hey, ya. If you keep trying to do this alone, you're going to get yourself killed. How would I just leave it as. Oh, you won. I guess I'm going back to town. Oh, small hitch up in the game there. Which, you know, that's fine. I'm recording, so obviously it's not going to be running 100% perfect. Like, I'm recording and maxing out the graphics. Can't get away that easy. If you care about the case so much, find your own damn clue. You won't find your mother without me. What? Uh... No? 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 Okay, she misinterpreted the note, apparently. I didn't know that. Leave now, find my book at the station, and don't look back. I listen. Your mom wrote that book to help find the killer. It's not going to say what happened to her. The truths we're both searching for can only be answered by finding the killer. I need a pair of hands in the living world, and you need a detective. Last case. Ashland Hill Cemetery. They can't see it, but it's there. What? I don't know. I get. I guess my mom thought there was a case that was linked to the Bell Killer. Cops didn't. Okay, we go there next. Ashland Hills. We? No, we. Oh, come on, we need each other. You need me a lot more than I need you. Either way, partners. Fine. For now. Now is all I worry about. Rona. My name is Rona O'Connor. I'm Joy. Seriously? <laughs> and Ronin is better? Why don't your parents think you'd be a medieval gladiator? So we're really going to a cemetery, huh? Yep. I like her. She's spunky. Uh, I, I have to do something. So I'll, uh, I'll just meet you uh, there. Uh, 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 no, no, no. I'm not letting you ditch you me again. You follow me. The deal is off. It was meant to be. I'll see you there. If not, I won't. Oh, you better show up to that cemetery, kid. You're the only living person I have left. Joy needs my help to find her missing mother, and she can help me track down the bell killer. I appreciate that they give me waypoints. I need those. Detectives are trying to find any possible connection to the bell symbol. People named Bell, literary references to bells, anything having to do with a bell. This game is chugging a little, but I think I, I blame that more on me having multiple monitors open right now. It's not spreading across them, but I can't imagine it's easier on the GPU. Wow, what a dick. And it's like you're lampooning your own gameplay mechanic. I wonder if that just like one dude is like, no one's gonna want to read that stuff. I'm gonna put something in the game that shows that shows Gary what for.
I feel like I hear demon sounds. Possess that one. There we go. Love how everything's walkable in this town. The Ashland Hill Cemetery was founded in 1632 as part of the churchyard for the recent Puritan settlers of the Massachusetts Bay Colony. Certain traumatic events expanded, expanded the cemetery significantly, one of which gave the cemetery its name. In 1665, a shipload of immigrants escaping the plague in London realized that the ship's population was already infected. They remained quarantined in the area of the cemetery, waiting to die. When they did, their bodies were burned and their ashes buried, and the graveyard was henceforth, henceforth known as Ashland Hills. I wonder how true most of this stuff is. I can't believe this. Are you happy now, asshole? Is this what you wanted? <laughs> you said I was the one. More like one of many. I don't even know what he sees in her. Oh, look at him. What a pig. He doesn't even feel guilty about what he did. Just look at him staring at her. Oh, I can't read his mind. All right, we'll help you with your ghost mystery. He betrayed me. He said he'd love me forever, but he's marrying someone else. Did he cheat on me with her? I always thought there was someone else. Was it her? Does it matter? It looks like he's moved on. Maybe you should too. I can't. Not until I know the truth. Please, I must know. For better or worse. Alright, All right, we're wasting our time to find out if he cheated on her. I don't have nearly enough clues yet. Well, there might not be any clues around here. Who knows? I'll come back in a second. Victim was hanged from ceiling fan. Possible suicide, but no note. Bell symbol raises possibility of murder. Let's just ask. Still, everything seemed great. I guess that's why I'm so nervous with Susanna. The thing is. If she hadn't jumped off that cliff, I never would have found my real soulmate. This is pretty fucked up. I don't disagree. Looks like he met this girl after his ex died. They look like a really happy couple, like, sitting here, looking really tired of each other. She was just trying to be a friend. She never anticipated this. There we go. Seems Solved it. Big 
misunderstanding. I'm not sure how she'll take it, but I guess I'll find out. The good news is he wasn't cheating on you. The bad news is your suicide brought them together. So... So he really loved me? Looks like it. I've made a big mistake. He still thinks about you. Maybe you can take comfort in knowing that you'll never be forgotten. I suppose. I just wish I had trusted him more. Maybe it could have been us getting engaged. The lighting makes her look like way more psychotic than I think is intentional. Anyways, she kind of has like a Joker face going. Man, I know a guy you would get super along with. Where am I going? Oh yeah, cemetery. I think one of this one of the skills is apparently a teleport. It's easy to miss. I did this. I talked him into this. Becoming a cop. I was lying dead in the street because of me. And yeah, I, I don't want to miss that, but I don't know where, exactly where it is. Because a teleport would certainly be useful. She would never kill herself. She was happy with her life, had plenty of friends. Someone must have done this to her. They must have. For a brief second, I thought the game crashed. I used to see this as Julia's final resting place. Now it's just where her body is buried. Guess I'll be buried here soon. This is home to neither of us. Just a place for others to come and remember what they used to know. She looks Ooh. pleasant. Great. Not a freaky ghost chick is shadowing me. Sorry it's been so long, Julia. I had to ask him for that Grim Reaper tattoo. I know it says cheated death right on it, but I didn't know how or why. Then he showed me the scar. Getting stabbed between the ribs like that could have easily been fatal. It's a miracle he's alive. And it didn't stop him from stealing again. He'll never learn. Why do I like that? Because you're a crazy person? 
ghost cannot cross running water. Hi. Uh, let's say you're a bit jumpy. You seem a bit jumpy. It sounds crazy, I know, but I've been seeing things I can't explain. Horrible, twisted things. I'm not even sure how I got here. I'm never drinking that much again. Then why stick around? I think there was a woman with me. Maybe my wife. Or my girlfriend. I can't remember much. It's all so hazy. I think I'm waiting for her. You remember her here with you? I think so. I hear screams. She leaned in to kiss me. Then the next moment she's screaming and reaching out for me. Then water. So much water. I'm sure you'll see her again someday. Somewhere nicer than this. I like how there's people running just he he doesn't even try to offer to help. I know I should go. She might come back. Like this seems like something that's really interesting with serious and Ronan's like, no, nah, fuck it. Makes you miss the warmth of the police station, doesn't it? Your secret errand was to get a flashlight? Keep it down. I can't see you and we're not talking to each other. Got it? This place is crawling with people. Don't want to know. We're still people. The book says that there's a murder happen right here. All I see are dead leaves and mud. This can't be a dead end. Not already. What am I gonna do? Maybe let the cop take a look at it first? I mean, I am the murder police. Just leave it to me. I find people who are murdered, and they're murderers. I need to determine if there's a link to the Bell Killer murders here. That's a good thing to determine. Let's do that. But first, I'm going to talk to ghosts. Leave me alone. Can't you see I'm looking for something? I'm also looking for things. Leave me alone. Can't you see I'm looking for something? Excuse me, but, uh, did you see the police investigation here a few weeks back? Not close up. I think there was something behind me, but I'm not sure. That's helpful. The lady said she saw something on the shoreline. Am I related to my investigation? Huh. Uh, she's definitely deceased. Washed up and tattered. Okay, so the Calvin and Hobbes looking motherfucker over there saw something. What do you know about the girl who washed up here? This thing floated down the river by her body. I think it ended up in the bushes over there. What bushes? Oh, these ones. The prompt just didn't show up the first time. Indeed. It's too dark in these bushes. Maybe I should talk to the girl with a flashlight. Joy, I need your help getting something out of those bushes. Okay. Yep, still a lot of nothing. What are we missing? 
missing? Maybe some combination of clues? Let's keep looking. It's important, but don't miss, miss the clue. Huh. This rope seems familiar. Wait a minute. There's something familiar about this. I need to get up river, find out how she died. Better tell Joy. Joy, who just walked away when I was still figuring that thing out. Body washed up on shore, so she was murdered up the river. Where? Miles of banks, both sides. Might as well be looking for a needle in a haystack of needles. Oh, genius, It'd be a needle stack. Hollywood ghosts. Just ask her, Sophia. Holy crap, maybe we can. That's that ghost that was watching me. Freaky girl wouldn't leave me alone. I mean, she appeared once. It's her. She's the one I dislike, her. I find her design off putting. Which I Stop suppose is intentional, but. Wait, don't leave me here, but did you see that? Yeah. She was talking about that. A small favor. Give her a chance. Hey, she can help all of us. Did you hear that? Of course I heard that. Demons. Shit. Ah, shit. The girl who's been watching me in the cemetery was a murder victim. I need to find her. So let's die. Uh... But demons. Oh wow, the but our bumpers on the Xbox controller are really bad. I'm gonna hide until you just turn your back, then I'm gonna kill you. As one would do with demons. The frame skips there didn't really help things. The hypest gameplay on YouTube. So I actually didn't press the buttons wrong. It just immediately just decided I didn't do it fast enough. There. That's done with. What a profound waste of time that is. 
Graveyards are fascinating places for me, especially the old parts. I suppose it's like the museum. Ronan, like a champ, came with me and listened patiently while I blathered on about colonial governors who were buried here, about the massive graves of the plague victims of the 1660s, of the yellow fever that struck down so many canal workers a century ago. So much life and death has happened in this town. What a peaceful place to get perspective on all of it. Also, you know, demons? I suppose I should expect it. A man with that many tattoos isn't afraid of pain. He isn't afraid of do doing something today he'll regret tomorrow. But if I'm going to be attached to him, I need to have some assurance that he cares if he lives or dies. I hear stories about the chances he takes, and I hope he's just trying to impress me. Because if not, one of these days, he's going to barge into a situation and come out in a box. That's never gonna happen. Come on, man. It can't be that hard. Then you get over here. Okay, I know it's steel or iron or something, but it's just like a fence, right? I mean, how much can it weigh? <laughs> Should have brought a crowbar. Yeah, we always bring a crowbar when we're hitchhiking to Boston in the middle of the night. Just get your ass over here. Hey, no problem. But remember, this whole thing was your idea. Damn! This thing's got to be welded shut or something. Nah, no. I'm sure they have doors ready for easy access after they put dead bodies inside. Next time, remember the crowbar. Next time? But was he drunk? Where's the flask? Y you want to try that line delivery again? No, you... D did you put it down somewhere? It's around. Just keep looking. Okay, he is drunk. It's essential equipment for a road trip, you know. That's fine. I I'm okay with that then. Whose idea was this? These will make a good story later. Haven't had this much fun in ever. Hey, let's jam. Hey, kid. Who was the hero? My great grandfather. I found a bunch of his things from the war in the attic. I even had a drink from his flask. No one in the family ever talks about him, though. I think it's because of his gorid stories of the war. It must have been great to stick someone with a bayonet or paint a wall with someone's brains. Yes, we kid. Stuff like that stays with you forever. You only find yourself wishing to forget. So what? He was a hero. I'd do anything to be remembered like that. Instead, people think I'm a coward who committed suicide. I'm sorry, kid. I didn't do it. I don't know how it happened, but I'm no coward. And if I were still alive, I'd slit the throat of every person who ever called me one. Okay, okay, touchy subject. I get it. I've been shot six times. I don't give a shit about your stuff. Either give me ghost mysteries or leave. Maybe I can help. Damn it. What's wrong with this thing? What do you mean? It seems to be doing its job just fine. Its job is to let people know who I was, and I was not like this. This filthy. I was important and rich and clean. I knew the importance of keeping up appearances, which is why this just won't do. It needs to look better than all the others. I'm not like the rest of these freaks. You'd be surprised. Uh, does this look okay to you? It looks completely blank. You have a completely blank tombstone. I feel like that may say a lot about you. Bell Killer Graffiti is unlikely the work of the killer himself. Refer danger of cult status to community relations officer. I'll get right on that.
Ronan was unusually philosophical today. He doesn't usually say these kinds of things, but he kept going on about karma and how he needed to redeem himself from some past misdeeds. I'm assuming he's talking about the crimes of his past, and that's why he needs to become a cop. To atone, he said. It was the only way he could see fixing his life. Here we are in the oldest part of the graveyard, which was founded in the 1660s. Was that before or after the trials? Oh, good question. Did everyone hear that? This young lady just asked if this happened before or after the famous trials. It actually happened a few decades before, so this graveyard is quite old. Okay, and we're going to walk a little farther now, so if you'll just follow me. I think they really like this part. Probably the scandalous stuff they can't talk about. Such a small door. Mm, I guess it is late at night. I wonder if it's really haunted. Oh man, there's stuff here. Hey buddy, you got a problem? Who could say that? I used to be a butcher before this bitch got a bug up her ass and started snooping around. People used to come from miles away and buy from me. I had more awards than the wall space to hang them. Then, her little boy goes missing, and I'm suddenly on death row? Call it a hunch, but I'm guessing you killed him. I never killed him. I never killed any of them. I left that up to my pigs. So you're just gonna haunt her for the rest of her life? Then what? Simple. I'm gonna ask her how her son tasted. Funny thing about pigs, you'd be surprised at how much their diet can affect their flavor. I hear there's a special place out there reserved for monsters just like you. It seems like the whole system is kind of screwed up if the people that, uh, you know, they had victims could also then, like, haunt people. Like, th their unfinished business is just being creepers. Many brave workers from Salem who won who made the Panama Canal possible, changing world commerce, died in this facility from dreaded yellow fever in 1904. All right, why don't we drop it after what I assume is going to be in cutscene soon? Let's find out whose hand that is. That was just a sacrifice in the name of science. Flesh sacrifice? Sounds more like voodoo than science. Some may call it that, but they forget the true purpose of science. To understand the world around us and all the forces that govern it. Just because the research may be unsavory at times, doesn't mean we should turn a blind eye. Besides, now I've got plenty of specimens to work with. You experimented on these people? Most of them are as good as dead anyway. I save the ones I can. The rest are being put to good use. Those were people, not guinea pigs. You're right. Now, if you don't mind, I'm quite busy. So it seems like the only people... Leave me. To hang around as ghosts, either don't know how they died, or are some kinds of monsters. So, since Ronan knows how he died, I'm gonna guess the twist is that he, uh, he still has to atone for his life, or he blames himself for his wife dying. I think it's yellow fever. I, I overheard the nurses talking about it. S something about the, the people working on the Panama Canal. <coughs> they must have brought it back with them. Please, I can't die here. 
He'll use me for his experiment. <coughs> <coughs> This was a hospital. They were trying to help you. But we just... See? We talked to the guy. This was a quarantine. No help is coming. We, we know he's experimenting on people. Or was. <coughs> Don't be so incredulous, Ronan. I'm too tired to fight. Here we go. We'll stop it for this then. Look, I'm on your side. I just want to ask you a few questions. Uh, Why can every friggin' ghost teleport but me? <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure this shit out. Alright, so we'll come back next episode. Shit, we found teleportation. Hooray!